Today in this video, we are going to learn how to do the control wiring of BFD. If I want to run this motor, then how control wiring must be done so that when I switch on selector switch, motor start running and on switching off the selector switch, motor will be stopped. We will learn every single detail through this video. So friends, let's start the video. When you want to switch on or off this motor through control wiring, then there are two ways. First one is to use only two wires to control this. If you use two wires to control this motor, it is called two wire control. Second way is by using three wires. Means if you use three wires for control wiring, it is called three wire control. In three wire control, you can use push button, but if you want to control only through two wires, then we have to use selector switch. Here you can see this selector switch. At the NO contact of selector switch, I connected two wires. I connected a red wire and a yellow wire. Take these wires and connect to this VFD. Connect one wire with ground terminal. As you can see, this yellow wire is connected with ground terminal and this red wire is connected with DI1 terminal. Means from ground terminal, zero volt signal is transferred to selector switch and when we switch on the selector switch, then through red wire, signal is transferred to DI1 terminal. I connected two wires here means this motor can run only in one direction. If you want to run the motor in both the directions, then one more is to be connected. We will learn this later. For now, let us learn only about two wires. Control wiring is simple here. Only thing you have to do is connect one wire from ground terminal and provide input power supply to selector switch and bring one wire from output terminal of selector switch and connect with DI1, DI2, DI3, DI4, DI5. Connect with any one of these. DI1 means digital input one. So we did the control wiring of this VFD. After control wiring, when I switch on the selector switch, then this VFD will not operate this motor. You can see I am switching this switch in both the directions, but VFD is not operating. It is not operating because we have to tell this VFD that we want to operate from other place. Means we are not going to use these run or stop button of VFD. We will operate from some other source. For now, if I press this run button, motor starts running and to stop this we have to press stop button motor is operating through this control panel now we need to do controlling by this selector switch if you want controlling by this selector switch then you have to set some parameter means if you have to give command to vfd to operate from other place for this go to programming press the programming button you can see p0 is showing here go in this p0 setting and select p02 inside p02 programming we will do command source selection means from where you want to control this can be done through this programming. If you select zero here, then these two buttons will operate our VFD. If you select one here, then you can operate VFD with this selector switch means giving signal to control terminal, you can operate VFD. If you select two here, then you can control VFD by communication means at A plus and AB terminal here you can connect communication cables and control this VFD. For now, we need to operate VFD through control terminal. So we will select one. On selecting, press enter button and leave the programming. This was the first programming for VFD. After this, we have to do programming for direction of motor in running through this selector switch. In forward direction or in reverse direction to run the motor, programming is required. For now, I connected only two wires. So first I will do programming for forward direction. For motor to run in forward direction, first look at this manual. You will find programming for input terminal here. In input terminal here, it is written P400. So let's do the programming. Press the program button and then select the P4. On selecting P4, press enter button. P400 is programming of DI1. Means this DI1 terminal at which red wire is connected, when we generate the signal in this wire, then in that condition, what command does VFD generate, we can program here. On pressing button, how this motor should run. You will find a lot type of programming here. You can do reverse, forward, stop a motor, hold, emergency stop and a lot of programming here. You can select one of these, but right now I want motor to run in forward direction. So I am doing DI1 terminal programming for forward run. For motor to run in forward direction, select 0, 01. When I select 02, motor will run in reverse direction. I am not getting 02 right now 
because I already did for other terminal programming. I will change it later. For now, remember only this that we selected 0, 1. Save this programming and leave this programming. To control VFD through control terminal, we perform two programmings. We have to do one more programming in which we have to show controlling through two wires. As I told you in starting that we can control VFD by two wire as well as three wire also. Now we have to program that we are doing programming by two wires. For this, press the program button and then enter P4 programming. After entering P4 programming, select P411. Enter into this. If we want to control this VFD through two wires, select 0. Save this programming and leave the program. After doing this much programming, this VFD can be controlled by a selector switch. Like if I select this selector switch at two number position, then my motor starts running in forward direction. When switching to one number position, nothing works. At zero, motor will be off and at two number position, motor will run in forward direction. So finally, with the help of this selector switch, we can switch on this motor and switch off this motor. Have a look at one more thing. If I remove this local information blinking, means select this at remote and then if I try to switch on motor through selector switch, then this motor won't be turned on. Motor is not getting on because VFD is programmed in mode to run by these two buttons. If you press this local button and on local indication, then motor will also be turned on. Selector switch was in on position, so motor turned on. Till now we did programming only for forward direction. If you want the motor to run in reverse direction also, then how you will do it, let's understand. I want that when I switch this selector switch at one number position, then this motor must run in reverse direction. What I have to do is, one number position terminal of selector switch is to be connected with a wire. So at two number terminal here, connect one end of wire here. On this two number terminal, I connected one end of wire. The other end of the wire is to be connected with either DI1, DI2, DI3, DI4 of control terminal of VFD. We already used DI1 terminal for forward direction of motor. Now DI2, DI3, DI4, DI5 are left. I am connecting the wire with DI2 terminal in this way. Just by connecting the wire, this motor won't run in reverse direction. For motor to run in reverse direction, we have to program this VFD for receiving signal at DI2 terminal. We need to do programming of control terminal of VFD. So we will go to input terminal programming of VFD. Input terminal programming is P4 programming. On pressing enter button, it is showing P400. P400 programming is for DI1. So we will go to P401. P401 programming is for DI2. So I am selecting this. Now 02 is selected here. When DI2 receives signal, then this motor must run in reverse direction. So I am saving this programming and leave the program. Programming for VFD to run the motor in both the directions is completed. Now first I am selecting the selector switch at two number position. In this condition, motor must run in forward direction. On selecting position, motor is running in forward direction. I am switching to off position now. And when I select one number position, then motor starts running in reverse direction. Right now the signal is going to DI2 terminal, so motor is running in reverse direction. If I instantly change the motor to forward direction, you saw motor is turned off, then start running in forward direction. Means if you instantly change the position of switch, then first motor will turn off by itself, then the direction will change. Friends in the comment section please mention what you want to learn in next VFD video. Either you want to learn how controlling of VFD is performed through three wires or how to control the speed of motor by using potentiometer. Please comment in the comment box. Friends, I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching the video.